In this video, we're going to be using the Lakewood Self Company Coquette and the Tetalus Essence Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leap. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back, and welcome in, welcome in. As mentioned before, Today, we're going to be using Lakewood Soap Company Coquette, and this comes to you for $17.50 for 5 ounces, and on our cost chart there, that is a good price of $3.50 per ounce. The scent on this is very nice to my nose. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Red raspberry, pink grapefruit, rose. It comes together very nicely. I like it a lot. Scent strength, at least medium to medium high. Really good scent. This is in their tallow base. I'm going to put the ingredients for you right there. Fairly simple ingredients, but it lathered up very nicely. So we look forward to having a great shave today with Lakewood Soap Company Coquette. The razor for today is the Tetalus Essence Razor, which is a shavette type razor, and it uses Artist Club style blades. Very, very nicely designed razor. Very, very expensive. I can't remember the price on this one, but I've talked about it many times in the videos in the past, but it's... I want to say 300 and some dollars, very, very expensive. This was sent to me uh, by Tedless uh, a number of months ago, and I've been using it all this time, and it is a very, very nice razor. It's probably too pricey for my blood to buy myself, but it is a nice shaver. So let's get into it today. We're going to have some giveaway announcements as always today, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Of course, I am back downstairs now because mom is feeling well enough to go back upstairs and sleep upstairs, so that is fantastic. I love shaving in the morning, it is my thing. I didn't enjoy shaving that much in the evening, to tell you the truth, but we're gonna be back on track today, and hopefully having a great shave. The brush for today is the West Coast Shaving Honeycomb brush, and we got a nice lather here with the, the Lakewood soap, I do believe, so check that out, not bad at all, right? Very nice indeed, I had another adventurous day yesterday, I had to take my dad to the hospital because his knees were hurting so bad he couldn't sleep the previous night. So we've just been, whew, we've had a lot of health issues to deal with here. So it's been, uh, it's, I don't need that kind of excitement, but you know, sometimes you get it. So you just try to help where you can. Try to help where you can and hopefully today will be a better day. And I hope it's a great day for you as well. As I mentioned before, if I didn't mention it, I hope you have a great day. <laughs> All right. We're gonna have a. We're gonna kick things off with a great shave, and hopefully, we will. Uh, we will do better and better as the day goes on. This is the way I like to start my day, with a phenomenal shave. It just doesn't feel right without me shaving in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's get this back a little bit here, and then we'll get into the shave today. We'll do typically. All that's necessary with the shaveette razor for me is uh, two passes. So we'll probably focus on doing two good passes today. Let's draw off the hands and we'll get going with our Tedalus. Very good knurling there, by the way, on the tail. The Tedalus, not bad at all. And here we go, we'll take our first few strokes here. Got a, oh, I thought I had a hair or something there on my hand, but nope, no problem at all. Very nice, very nice indeed. Feeling very nice and smooth. And for me, that's the trademark of the Tedalus here. The blade in the Tedalus is the uh, Feather Professional blade. Uh, it is an Artist Club style blade. The Tedless does use different types of blades. I can't remember all the different types, but you can look that up on the website. But it is capable of using more than Artist Club style blades, if you're curious, as many shavettes are, or at least some shavettes. Yeah, that's very nice. Cutting very smoothly, as I expected. And again, I hope you're all having a great day so far. We are back to Shavette. Got lather down here. Must have blooped at some point. Back to Shavette. Uh, straight razor or Shavette Sunday. I like to, to do a Shavette. Shave at least once per week to sort of stay in the practice. It's key to just keep things going and stay somewhat familiar with shaving this way. It takes, it takes a fair amount of time to develop the dexterity, 
to do it, so you may as well, you know, stay familiar with it. And I have to say, the the Tedless here is really a nice razor. The scales, by the way, are uh, aluminum, I believe. They're not plastic or acrylic. And the steel, I can't remember, but it's some sort of stainless, I want to say. So it's definitely well built, and it holds together with the magnet. It's very, very strong. It's a very interesting razor, and I have enjoyed it. Probably the cost would be the biggest hurdle for most people to get over with this razor because it is quite pricey. And I do enjoy using it. But I was not in the market for a razor that cost this much as far as a shavette goes. But I will say, I think um, I've seen many, many people who bought this and they're very happy with it. So, you know, you can take that into consideration. It's definitely a well-designed razor. I think it took them a long time to make this razor. They went through a lot of prototypes and they sort of settled on this design, which is a good design. It's attractive. It's probably the best looking Shavette razor that I've ever seen. It's awesome. You know, it looks like sort of like a custom straight razor. And it is a very good shaver too. So there you have it. If you've been interested in a high-end Shavette, this is probably the one. In fact, I think it might be the only one and it's sort of uh, the area of cost. I can't think of any other Shavette that's match it. This would be the only premium shave, <laughs> at least in cost. I think, well, the Feather DX are fairly pricey too, but this one's way more pricey than that. So if you're one of those people that just appreciates, you know, high-end stuff, you know, maybe give it a shot. All right, let's get into last week's winner for the giveaway. And remember last week we gave, we're, well, we put up for giveaway a $25 gift card from the Razor Company, which I'm buying. And Marty Kettelar has about four uh, HCNC oils. And the winner, I'll put up on the screen right now, is Stuart Bender. Stuart Bender, you are the winner. Email me your email address and physical address, and I'll pass the physical address on to Marty, and he'll send you those oils. Thank you, Marty, for sending those oils or putting those up for giveaway. And I will also send you the gift certificate or gift card for TRC, Stuart. And we'll go ahead and kick off now a new giveaway for another $25 Razor Company gift card. And you can enter that by just writing below. All you have to do is write IMCDB. And you'll be entered and we'll draw another winner next week. And it's just, uh, I use the YouTube random comment picker. And uh, good luck on that. Just comment below, IMCDB. That's all you have to do. We like to keep it simple and easy. And uh, make sure to make that comment below. You don't have to say anything else if you don't want to. Perfectly okay just to enter the giveaway if you like. However, if you, have, if you have another comment, that's okay as well. We always appreciate your comments. I look forward to reading them and responding to them. I know I don't always give a long response because, you know, let's face it, I don't have a lot of time these days, but we try to acknowledge everyone's uh, posts. Sometimes they get hung up in spam, so keep in mind, if you don't see a response from me, it could have gotten hung up um, in spam, so always keep that in mind. All right. Let's press on with our shave today. Soap, I haven't talked much about to this point. It is very, very good. And I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It is feeling very good to me. It's smelling very good to me. Plenty of slickness here. No problem whatsoever with slickness. Cushion, Clyde, the cost is good. And I tell you, cost is going to become more and more important, I think, for people as time goes on, especially with you know, everything being as high as it is, especially fuel, um, cost is going to be an important factor. So the artisans who keep their, their uh, wares relatively well-priced are probably going to see more business than those who, you know, are pricing them high relative to everyone else. I mean, everyone's going to be looking for value right now. So if you're raising your prices right now, you might not be going the right way. <laughs> However, that said, I mean, every artisan has to do business the way they see fit, but keep in mind, we're taking pay cuts too, um, because most of us aren't getting raises. So when things get very high, we're hobbyists. So we have to cut back in the areas of hobby and not essential. So if you're, you know, raising your prices to sort of offset all the costs, keep in mind that we're likely cutting our spending so it, you're it's probably you're raising it probably a bad time but that's just my opinion 
And I know myself, I will be more choosy going forward. I will treat myself to something pricey every now and then in terms of a soap, but I'm gonna be looking more for value right now because look, I'm being squeezed just like everybody else. And so it's something to think about. It's definitely something to think about. Because we have seen some price increases. Now, I will say this. If your price increases are like sterling, where you're raising it 10 or 15 cents on a jar and you figured out that's what it takes to make ends meet, I think we all appreciate that. But when you're tacking on a dollar or two a tub, it's gonna be harder for us to justify it, or at least me, going forward. Even if I really love your brand, I, you know, I'm gonna have to be more choosy. And that's just a matter of I don't have as much money to spend. And I'm sure the rest of you out there are in the same boat. We just don't have as much money to spend. We're taking pay cuts. You know, some of the artists are gonna have to help us out there too if we're gonna to continue to buy, you know, a lot of soaps. You can't continue to squeeze the same customers over and over and over. What we need to do is bring new people in and have new money, you know. The loyal people who continue to buy, I think they deserve a break, honestly, just being completely honest. So I'm certainly glad we have soaps that are well-priced here, like Lakewood today. Um, that's gonna be more and more important, you know, going forward, in my opinion. All right. Very, very nice today with the Tedalus Essence and the, the Lakewood Soaps Coquette. I've had a really nice run with it. I've used Lakewood soaps years ago, but it's been probably, I want to say a good four years ago, maybe. Um, it just hadn't gotten back to them, but I saw this at the Razor Company, and I was like, hey, that sounds good. Let's try it, and I am very happy with it. It was very, very nice. No quality problem. It hit the spot. Cost was good. I have to say, if you haven't tried Lakewood, you know, pop on over to the Razor Company or Lakewood's um, website and check them out. Not a bad soap at all. That was a very nice shave. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Lakewood Soap Company Coquette. Good price, good quality, good cost. Everything was really nice with this. I say give it a shot. It was very nice indeed. We also used the brilliant Tetalus razor, which is very, very awesome. It is probably the best looking shavette type razor out there. Just very pricey. That's really the only downside, but it is a magnificent shaver and I enjoyed using it a lot today. We used our West Coast Shaving Honeycomb Brush. It's in inside our uh, Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. And we're gonna finish it out today with the Wet the Face the Quiet Man, complete with the floaties in there, if you can see those. I don't know why I show you those every time, but I guess I'm easily amused, and I hope you are too. And I hope wherever you are today, you have an outstanding shave and a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.